talked to a lot of parents and a lot of grandparents. And I know a lot of them have called the school and complained about it. The controversy at Denair Middle School surrounds this graphic called the gender unicorn. The graphic, which can be found on the website for trans student educational resources, is meant to educate people about gender identity. It was distributed by a science teacher to roughly 50 students this week on the first day of school. It was not an assignment. Kids were not asked to fill it out. He really was using it as a reference point. Terry Metzger is the superintendent for the Denaire Unified School District. Metzger says the 7th and 8th grade science teacher handed out copies of the infographic to help explain why he doesn't use the pronoun Mr. Instead, using MX, pronounced mixed, a title which does not imply a gender. Metzger says the school's principal happened to be in the class at the time and told the teacher to stop handing out copies of the gender unicorn. It was probably not appropriate um, just in the way that the, uh, that the handout looked and it looked like it needed to be filled out and so it was just probably the wrong tool. It is a touchy subject and of course it's going to be when it comes to uh, youth. Catalina Zambrano is the gender spectrum coordinator for the Central Valley Pride Center. Zambrano says she uses the gender unicorn graph for education purposes for her job, adding that while she says the point is not to pry at someone's sexuality, she does feel that a breakdown in communication is the real culprit in the case at Denaire Middle School. There's not going to be a lot of people who are not going to get it. We understand that. We respect that. But, uh, you know, maybe a little bit more planning next time, you know, a little bit more finesse.